Hello guys, today we're gonna play a new horror game called Merdio. So this is from the developer of uh, Vertigo Temple, if you know what I mean. So that was a really cool game and this is, the, I mean the style is kind of similar. So, let's play it. Wow, I really like like the effects. So pretty and creepy at the same time. So what happened? <laughs> Sorry, so this is the stowaway. Stowaway? Okay. More of a castaway than a stowaway. If they're on the ship and they shouldn't be, they're a stowaway. Where's the other one? Hmm. There was with him downstairs, but when we hauled the boat of them out of the water, the man looked pretty dead to me. I'm really sorry if I can't read it, I don't know why for some reason I'm just like really tired. God. That's a little morbid, even for you, Ari. I'm not glad he's dead necessarily, I'm just glad he's not on the ship, one less the ability. If you have a problem, take it up with Leo. You called? Hmm. So I have some pretty interesting characters. Speak of the devil. Good day to you too, Ari. Now, it's the other one. How is the other one? <laughs> that guy, deader than Kelsey's nuts, poor bastard. It seems Sleeping Beauty here is the only survivor. That is, if they ever wake up. Huh. So one is dead and the other one is sleeping booty, maybe forever. What do you think their chances are? Pretty decent? It's been a lifetime since I've diagnosed anyone with anything, more than the flu. But I couldn't find anything wrong, minus the scrapes. The kid's just out cold. More importantly, did we pick up any other vessels? There's no telling if the two drifters were part of a wreck or they just fell overboard. If anyone else picked up the distress signal, they could be hit at full speed, right, for us. <laughs> I've reploted our route, so we should be back on track with the hour. We didn't stray into the shipping lanes. But it's strange, isn't it? If we're clear of the usual cargo routes, how did our drifters get this far out in the open ocean? Christ, we're closer to the Arctic Cycle than to any of the cruise lines. Did you pick up anything over the radio? Silence, since the Mayday 
eight hours ago. Nothing before or since. Quite the mystery. I'm sure the kid will have a fantastic story to tell once they're up. Leo, you know the danger of letting anyone... Uh, of course, of course. But danger's the whole job and there's no choice to be made. You can't just toss a, a shipwreck victim overboard. The sea would have her revenge for sure. Don't talk about superstition to me. But really, what other option do we have here? You wanna call this to the into the coast guard or something? No, but I'll figure out something, but for now, don't go smothering them in their sleep. But I need to get to the bridge. Keep an eye on Sleeping Beauty for me, alright? I have a live broadcast in half an hour. Don't disturb me. Live broadcast, huh? Poor thing. Hang in there, kid. Yep, hang in there, kid. Oh, so we're awakened. I think so. Oh, this reading is making me really tired. Oh, I'm really sorry if I mispronounce some things or I reading kind of way too fast or stupidly. Oh, so we are the kid here. I don't have uh, many uh, much what the hell are we doing here? Many readings, so yeah, it's kind of hard for me. You're awake! Oh, he's so sweet, or she. So what the hell happened to them? Uh, well, hello. You're aboard the revolution. We found you floating and unconscious a few hours ago. Everything will be alright. Uh-uh. Now this is a horror game, so nope. Mm -mm. I'm Cynthia. You can call me Sai if you like. No answer, huh? Dot dot dot. You got a name there, kiddo? Still nothing. Don't worry, you're safe here now, no matter what happened out there. I'm kind of scared, like what the hell happened out there? Ha! Huh. Well, I imagine you have been through a hell of a time. You don't have to talk until you're ready. Or until the game ends. Oh yeah, so this is like a half an hour game, so not so long. Sai! Listen up! Sai, Sai, Sai! We have company on the way! So this is a crazy dude, huh? Oh, he has a little cat on his pocket! Oh, look at that! <laughs> look at this! Look! Oh, he's so sweet! <laughs> Sai, bridge, now! Leo needs you upstairs! Damn it! Right away! Wait, they're awake! I mean, they're, they're just one! Well, nice to meet you, little guy! What brings you to our corner? of the seven seas. Sean, shut up, side bridge. Is there nothing? Wait, no way I'm leaving you alone down here. Follow me and keep your mouth shut. Well, the poor guy, he didn't talk anything. Crazy. Captain. 
Oh. So we are all here, huh? Oh, wait, I don't think we can save in this game. Damn it. Leo, what's the situation? We've picked up two other ships on radar. Not sure about their bearing, but if they aren't headed our way, then I'm the Queen of Sheba. Don't know what that means. Let's see. Only about 10 minutes before they have visual confirmation. And no matter what, we can't let them have visual airy anything over the air. We have no direct communications and a doubt a cargo ship will move that fast. Could be a navy ship American on our tail. No, probably they're following the same Mayday that brought us out here. Alright then, this, this is what we're going to do. Sound got power to everything but the engines. I want no acoustic profile for them to pick up. Got it? Done, done, done. Can we stick to manual navigation? I'll find a course that should keep our distance. And Iri, go downstairs and mend the radio. And they'll see us on radar for sure. We have the radio profile of a floating uh, freight train, so they're going to pick up us up eventually. When they try to make contact. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm Brit Mary Funch, a communication officer of the Swedish, Swedish prisons, and we've made a happy detour out of our land to spare the passengers some roses. I'll handle it. Uh, this, this is killing me. <laughs> and you. The kid. Wait, since when were you awake? It wasn't more than an hour ago, but they might be deaf or mute. It doesn't matter, but they haven't said the word. Ah, that's why that kid. Let me guess, you were a stowaway. You're an illegal. Still nothing. Ha ha ha, I don't care who are, who you are or where you come from. For now, sit tight. Once Shaw gets off his ass and shuts off the power, things are going to get a little interesting up here. Oh, I don't like this one. Alright Leo, 20 degree turn starboard, full power. Roger. No one's catching us today. Let's keep steady. They're moving under 25 knots. If they only come out as far as where we picked up the Mayday signal, it only be an hour until we're out of radar range. You want to turn in on the radio chatter from downstairs? And listen to our try a Swedish action. I'll pass. Thanks. I'm telling her you say that. So it's actually a she, huh? Huh. Just concentrate on the turn. At this speed, on a big ship like this. All under control. Hey kid, why aren't you going to sit down? Still nothing. I really like the effects of the water. So, 
uh, we are on a ship and I just heard something I think Thomas did something and uh, we rescued two person one alive four dead and we have four uh, crew members and we are running from something I guess so yeah. oh god and hold on tight it's hard to have a chase when you're a uh, twin I can't read this <laughs> 100 meter cargo ship but hey seems like this the day had oh, I can't read this <laughs> oh god I'm so sorry 200 meter cargo ship but hey seems this the day to try it ready ready oh my god Haha, uh -huh. Humphrey can't catch the revolution. Not too bad, huh? The speed of Hems, the stilt of Hickard, and the blessing of Poseidon. The only casualty was my dignity. I'm not doing exit again. It be the radio silence. We've had closer calls. And of course, we shouldn't thank our good luck charm. We should thank our oh, So the kid is like just nothing. A person can't be a good luck charm. Why not? Then our little friend here is at minimum a good omen. You, like the child or the cat you mean a bad omen if we hadn't stopped to pick them up wouldn't have wound up a hair spit away from discovery either way it's been too long since all of us were even awake at the same time so let's take this opportunity to share a meal Yep, I'm hungry too, so let's share a meal. That's it, a welcoming party for our guests. Let's drink under the stars and sing. Sing, I'll bring my guitar. Any objections? As long as our guest is only a guest until port, and they stay in their quarters. Light it up a bit, Ari. We'll meet up in the usual spot in an hour. Until then, Sai, can you handle the instruments? I need to pay a visit to the cargo fridge in Bay 12. I'll be needed on the breakfast broadcast. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> but if you want to share a meal, I'll be there. I might even cook something. Well, it was about food so I thought it said breakfast and it's broadcast <laughs> ah, then I'll give you uh, ah, I'm so bad at this then I'll give our guest a tour and we'll find out found you a proper cabin it's been ages since any of us have been uh, seen another soul about here so what so that makes you the guest of honor Yes, welcome aboard the revolution. Still nothing. Well, this is a creepy ship. It reminds me of some movies. Uh, I don't think I ever will do a reading again on a, a novel or a horror novel or no matter what. Well, what do you think? Nah, still nothing. 
Do you like the interior design? It's mostly my project, you know. Have you ever heard of the SS Andrea Doria? It's weird because Andrea is my name, so... <laughs> no? Really, it's like the second most famous ship rank of all time. But you have to... But you have to have heard of the Titanic, right? Yeah. They were both ocean liners straight up of another world. Ships were luxury back then. If you were a rich dude, you had a stateroom on one of these babies. It was prestige, status. And these boats were fab, decked out, art deco romantic. Not like those ugly yachts. Thomas, what the heck are you doing there? Sniffing something, huh? But the Andrea Doria, the Titanic, one day the Revolution too will be resting on the bottom of the ocean. And when a ship is on the ocean floor, its crew, that's why, that's when their souls come back to join the living. What the hell? Well, I don't know how to say you, but the Titanic is on the ocean floor already. I figure if I were a dude from 1960, 1956, could I don't a posh ocean liner, I'd come home to some place that looked like my old things, right? I'd feel like home, so I want the revolution to feel as home like as possible to all these 50s ghosts out there. What? What the hell is... I think they're the dead. Yeah, I think they're all dead. No. Oh, don't give me that look, little guy. When it's me going down with the ship, I'll come back and join some other crew as their ghost engineer. I'll be helpful. I'll make a pretty cool ghost, I think. Thomas, this game is really... creepy. And I think I feel them, lost souls. Think they feel welcome here? If you train their, your third eye, they wander this hall stone. I don't want to, to, to know. No. That kid is scripted out, just like me. Ah, uh, well, who cares about that? Did I introduce myself? Probably not. But the name's shown. I'm the heart and soul of the revolution, even if no one else will admit it. Now, what do they call you, little guy? Got it. I'll throw awkward silence. It's a bit long for a name. Just calling you silence would be pretty cool, though. Huh? There's something wrong with that good <laughs> boy. Sounds good, silence. Anyway, here's the radio room. Want to visit Ari? And that, I believe, is the chief takeaway from the events of the past three years. Not all revolutions must be secular. Not all left-wing movements must be pure. Class must need us. All other divisions must fall. Revolution out. Hey, hey, Ari. Me and Silas were touring the place. Figured you'd, you'd drop in. Uh, you and who? Silence. The kid. That's their name. Poor kid. <laughs> That's not anyone's name, Sean. Start clowning around and get out of here. You're not scheduled to broadcast until 2 a.m. 2 or 2. Oh, God. So this is like a, a little uh, funny horror novel. I don't really know yet. Come on, Ari. I've 
have more misterms if you gave me a time slot that wasn't in the middle of the night for once. Uh, no, you wouldn't. No one tunes into Revolution Station Radio to hear your guitar, uh, guitar interpretation or schizophrenic rumblings. This is really funny. I don't know why. Hey, don't be rude. Your show's pretty boring too, you know. Yeah, they are boring. I don't kid myself about it. People turn into revolution radio for com commercial free top 40 ADM. Not my commander. Pirate radio is dead. Maybe some kids out there will stick around and listen to what I have to say about social movements. I'd be lucky if that was one in a hundred of overall mystery, so... Hey, if I only connect to the souls, souls of 1% of my audience, I'll be shocked. This is so weird. 1% of your listening ship would round down to zero. Hey, 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 don't trash talk me in front of silence. Oh, I forgot you were you were there. Yeah, me too. It's like very silent. I'm Ari, no last name. You can call her Comrade Ari. She's our cook and deck officer too. She runs Revolution Radio out of the onboard station. Oh, and she's a veteran. I'm pretty sure she's been sailing since the original Andrea Doria. Damn, she's old. The Andrea Doria wrecked in the 50s, and anyone who adopted a norm, the gender with comrade in it, got killed by the CIA in the 70s. Stop making shit up, Sean, and don't come back down here until it's your broadcast plot. She's pretty angry. Love you too, Ari. And to you, kid, this lousy world of ours isn't any place for children, and this boat even less so. My sincerest wish that you get out of here as soon as possible and that we see each other never again. What the hell? I need a break, I can't read it. <laughs> hey, Sai, Sai! Sean, I thought you'd be asleep. Oh no, I have some coffee and some other stuff. Figured out I'd give our guest a tour. Not a bad idea, they still haven't said anything. Silence. The little guy's ear to the name. I wonder, you must have, uh, you must have seen something terrible that any of us could imagine. You think the whole mood thing is a psych medical syndrome? I have a few crystals in my cabin. I'll be up for testing out their healing powers on all silence here. Poor kid. No crystals shown. Maybe it's a chakra thing, you know, I have some tea too. No crystals and no herbal tea. Especially no herbal tea with psycho uh, psychoactive ingredients. I can deal with you tripping around the deck in the early morning, but if I catch wind of you giving anything remotely sketchy to our guest here, I'm just gonna stab you. Then I'll throw you overboard myself, Sean. Get, got it? Roger, 10-4. You sound more like Ari every day, Sai. Haha, <laughs> Ari wouldn't have given you a warning. 
Uh, uh, I almost forgot. I was giving silence to tour. Welcome to the bridge of the revolution. This is the natural habitat of both sides, the sensitive and Leo the loud. Oh, uh, knock it off. Leo has been awake 24 hours and he hears you calling him that he'll hand you over to Ari so we can have some meal and our dinner for us. So neat. So neat. Oh. Uh, And Sai is modest, but she's the brains of the outfit. Without Sai, I don't think we'd be able to cover more than half before he takes an iceberg. Oh, uh, yeah. We're in the mid Atlantic in the middle of summer. The only iceberg here is the one between, between your ears. Damn it. And Leo is the glue that brings us valiant crewmen together. I mean, he's asleep and doesn't actually have any skills. Besides the skill of paying us our salary, you mean. Well put, well put. Hey, yo. Sean might try pretty hard to play the ship idiot but he's got his talents just don't rely on him in a pinch slander come on silence this is my cue time to leave and this welcome to Chateau de Sean yep it's creepy Ah, uh, don't give me that face. I don't really live here. This is the engine room of the revolution. From right to left here, we have Inky, Pinky, Blinky and Clyde. Inky is the worst of them. I need to lubricate him every day and whenever we have proportion troubles, I always come to Inky first. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's continue. Uh, you ever done a piston recon reconditioning silence? How about the refill on the high seas? Well, he's just a kid, so what the hell? That's what I thought. And even so, you'd probably be better at it than Sai or Ari or even Leo. To be a good engineer, you need to know your engines on a spiritual level. Are, are you chakras in sync, silence? I think he is a crazy one. Huh? Are you extinguishing uh, energy levels in tune with the aura of the entities around you? Huh? What the hell? Then you'll never be an engineer. Sorry to say, you've either got the gift of engineering or you don't. Blessing and a course. That's all that. Oh god. But Inky looks like he's behaving tonight, even if I need to make repairs on Blinky in a couple days. It's a good diesel electric setup we've got so. Even if we're moving at 5 knots to avoid detection, then we can keep full power on. Ah, uh, uh, never mind. I don't want to bore you. Besides, it should be about time for the victory feast anyway, right? Let's head up to the main deck. Ah. Uh. Not bad, Ari. Almost edible. Ah, uh, quite down. Nothing like a celebration stew. I suppose it's an improvement over yesterday's stew. And the stew before that. Uh, 
I've been the cook for guerrillas in Colombia, pirates on the Red Sea, and revolutionaries in Libya, and none of them have been as picky as the crew of this ship. Winners, all of you. Winners. Feel free to have a drink, anyone. I'll take night duty on the bridge. Oh, sorry. Generous tonight, eh, Sai? I doubt I'll be sleeping anyway, really. And about our passenger here. Yeah, about him, what the... They are look so creepy, you can see them, they're like smiling, creepy. I have my decision. We can't afford a delay in the schedule by turning around now. If you want to be in the black for this month, we can drop off the kid when we're at port. So for the next six days, you're a, you're a guest on the revolution. Welcome, kid. Six days, it's kind of long six days. Here, here. And if you're gonna be hanging around, then a couple ground rules. First, stick to their cabin. Second, keep your nose out of the cargo. Third, you were never here. Okay. Leo, they have a right to know what's going on. If you were doing the right, we couldn't turn the kid over to the Coast Guard ship. It's like we're keeping a hostage. That's true. Fair point. And you've seen like my kind of kid, kid. So, to tell the truth... Leo, watch yourself. The revolution is a stolen vessel. We operate with no license, flags or laws. Huh. We are a free ship, free flow of information, free flow of goods, free flow of people. Revolution radio is the heart of it. Ah, interesting. Heh, I'd say tax evasion and or smuggling it is the heart of it. That's what pays the pills. But the point is you're on the secret now, kid. So they stolen the ship for what? A toast to the newest member of the crew, the kid, the mysterious silence. Psh, I'll drink to that. Silence is a good thing. And I haven't mean to keep it from you, but the man you were floating with, I'm not sure he was to you, but we lost him. I'm sorry. Rest in peace. Why do they look so happy? And now putting around, I brought my guitar, so how, some, how about some fresh tunes? We are two, oh, two or three hundred years late for Shantis, so... Ah, uh, then you'll be alright at home, Ari. Come on, sing along. So it's the night, huh? But one man of her crew, me alive. What? What put to see with 75? Bravo! What the hell is going on? It's getting late. Yep, I notice it. What do you say? One more? By all means.
Uh, is that a bug or something? Because I can't continue it. Help.